what is up you guys my name is olivia welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to make this design here so let's go ahead and get into it first thing you want to do when you get onto the canva platform is go over to the create a design button scroll down to the custom size click here and in the width i first off i do inches so for my designs my print on demand designs I use 14 by 15 inches and I use this size to make sure my designs come out in good quality when they are printed by my print provider. So since I already have it, I would click here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how I do it. 14 there, 15, 14 by 15 inches, and then create new design. Before we begin, I just wanna show you the font styles I'll be using in today's design and where you can get them from. If you're just using the fonts from Canva, you can either use Tan, Songbird, or Nectarine. Today I'm, I will be using Nectarine. And I also have some paid fonts, which are Peace and Love, and another one is called Stay Trendy. Okay, so you can get those from Etsy if you want to. But like I said, I'm going to be using a font provided by Canva. So first off, we wanna find some outlined floral designs and I'm going to come down to my new canvas and to create a new canvas you want to come right here to this plus sign add page click that and a new canvas will pop up but I already have one so I'm going to click this trash button in order to find these floral graphics you need to head over here to the elements tab now click here so for this design specifically I'm going to search cartoon flower and I'm going to come to the graphics. They have graphics, photos you can choose from, videos, frames, and audio. But I just want a graphic. If we look at this one, it has outline to the graphics. So that's the type of flower I'll be looking for when I'm searching through these flowers. So you want to be specific when you type here. Not too specific. At least one word to describe your graphics. So I typed in cartoon flower. You can type in sketch flower, drawing flower, maybe outlined flower, or boho flower. You need something to describe what type of flower you're looking for, so that way you can get a better chance of finding exactly what you need for your graphic design. Let's do sketch flower. And this, these are the type of graphics that will pop up. And if you type in boho flower these are the type of graphics that will show up so let's go ahead and go back to cartoon because that is what i need normally that's the type of flower that has the outline so i've already found some flowers that i wanted to work with and they also give you related searches just in case you need some more help to find the specific graphic that you may be looking for all right So for this design, I'm gonna go ahead and use this graphic here. And I wanna use this specific graphic because I can change the colors to whatever color I need that flower to be. Anytime you choose the graphic and the color options like this pops up, then you're able to alter the color to whatever color you need your graphics to be. It's best to use these type of graphics over the preset ones because sometimes the colors that the creator may have chosen may not work for your print when it's printed out on your shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna go and take that off. We will be working with these here. And I already have a color scheme together that I want to use for my design as a whole. So let me show you that real quick. Just in case you wanna know, here are the color codes I am using for this design. And here are the search terms for the graphics I will be using in this design, just in case you wanna go back and do it yourself. So I typed in cartoon flowers, and for my next graphic, I'm gonna type in branch drawing. Okay, so let's go ahead and change these flowers to the colors I need them to be. So you wanna come up here to the color selection, and like I said, I already know what colors I want them to be. This is the color a scheme that I want to use for my flowers. Next, I'm going to show you how to duplicate your graphics. Command D and it will duplicate your design for you. If not, that's fine. All you have to do is click on the design and select this plus button here, duplicate. And there you have it, another copy of your graphic that you need. Since I don't like the placement of these flowers, what I'm going to do is drag it to make it a little bigger first from the corner. And what I'm gonna do is double tap 
the graphic and these white corners will pop up. So what you can do is crop this here. So I'm going to just crop the, uh, bring up this line right here with the grid all the way up to the green flower. So it's just the green flower showing. And then I will duplicate and double click again because I need the other flower. So what I'm gonna do is, the other flower is a little bit bigger so I need to open up my grid or my crop tool a little bit bigger than what it is. Okay, and then I'm going to duplicate one more time. I just want my flowers to be separate so I can move them, so I can move them around how I please. And we need the pink flower. Okay. So let me go back up to my reference. All right. So let's go ahead and you can move them around as you like. I'm just trying to get the idea, the outline of this specific design here. Just wanna alternate the flowers around. Okay. Now we need the text part. So what I'm going to do is go right here, add page, because we need to do the text part. So what I do is press T on my keyboard to bring up the text. And if that doesn't work for you, you can also take that off. Come over here to the left side, click text tab and add a text box. Click this button right here. Now I want to click on this white circle here to enlarge my text. And I'm gonna have mine say NANA in all caps. Okay, now I just wanna resize it again. So I'm gonna drag this circle right here. Okay. Now, as I said before, I'm going to use the Nectarine font style that's provided by Canva right here. If you need to look for it, just type in Nectarine. And there it is. Okay. Now we have that. I'm going to go ahead and change the colors to match the floral, the flowers that I have. Let's go ahead and change that. Once again, like I said, the color scheme, uh, the color codes for this color scheme that I am using for this design are in this video just um go back a couple of minutes and screenshot the color codes okay i'm gonna take this background off so I'm, i just select here i don't need this color and i press delete button to make it white and or you can just select the background come up here to the background color and change the color right here under document colors to white all right, and now I'm going to duplicate this text because now I need an outline or I want an outline for my text because I want it to look like this right here. This is what we're trying to create here. So we're gonna play with the effects now. All right, so come up to effects. And what I like to use is the hollow tool under style. Go to the hollow tool and to find out my thickness, I want it to be a little bit thicker so you can see it on the outside of this text here. And I don't want my font to be that color. We're gonna make it that color there. Okay. So you see this text is going behind my outline text. So to fix this, drag it down and go to the position button and click to the front right here under arrange click to the front and that's gonna bring that other text up to the front now. Now the outline text is behind this text here. And that's exactly where I needed to be. So let me size this up a little more. Now what I'm going to do in order to make that, uh, create that dimension effect like this one here, I need to go ahead and save this as a PNG with a transparent background from Canva. So what I do is head over to the share button, scroll down to download, make sure the file type is PNG, and I make sure my pixel size is at least over 4,000. So right here, 
is a sweet spot for me. And then make sure transparent background is selected. Select the page you wanna download, page three. Click that and press done and click download. Once that's finished downloading, I see it right here, wherever it goes for your computer, everyone's computers may be different. And what I do is I either just drag it up to my uploads from here and or you can click upload files and it will go to uh, your documents on your computer and you can upload it to Canva. Now, come over to my uploads, click the Nana image that I just downloaded. Right, size it up. Okay, so you see, I'm going to scoot back some. I'm trying to create this dimension effect that they have right here. So in order to create this dimension effect, or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> uh, come over here to edit image. Make sure the Nana is selected first. Come over to edit image. Scroll down to shadows. It's going to be a purple square. Click that. And what I like to select is the glow. They have different options here, but I choose the glow. That's what works best for me. Click glow. Okay. And then once the effect has been applied, go ahead and press apply to make it permanent. And there you have it for that. See the dimension effect? Just like this one here. All right, so now I just wanna play around with the background a little bit more. So I'm just gonna move the flowers around a little bit. I will duplicate this flower here. Let's scroll, um, zoom back in. So what I'm gonna do is select this flower. And if you're unable to, all you have to do is move your graphic up so you can get to the flower or whatever graphic you're using. Select the graphic and click the duplicate button. All right. And I think I'm gonna size it down some. All you have to do when you're sizing a graphic is come to one of these four dots, white dots here, and scroll in and or out to make it big or small. It's all to your liking. All right, next. Okay, so I need to position this to the back. Come up to the position, take it to the back. If it's too far back for you, cause it went behind this blue flower here, all you have to do is come right here and click forward until it's where you want it to be. Now, I need something kind of similar to these vines here. Oh, I call them vines. Come over to elements. Let's start with vines. I don't know why it's all in caps. Graphics. Okay, this is something similar to what I want. However, I cannot change the color, like I said before. So I'm not going to use that. Okay, I can change the color of this one, but I don't really like that one. So you see the color here, you can change the color to whatever color you need it to be, but I don't want that color. So we're going to move on to another one. So the other search term that I used for, this is the finished product here, but the search term I used to find this one specifically was branch drawing. So let's go ahead and type in branch drawing. Uh oh. Now I want it to match the color of the outline that I have for my flowers. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and change this to black. Since the outline of my flowers is in the color black. Now Let's see, they have one on the side, one at the bottom. All right. So I may end up moving that flower that's behind here. Sometimes you just gotta finagle it to your liking. Right here, and then there's another one. So I'm going to duplicate this graphic here. Come up to the duplicate. And I wanna flip it. I wanna flip it, make it upside down. So there's two ways you can do this. Select the graphic, come right here to these, this circle arrow here, and turn it to the angle you want it to be. Or select this, select the graphic, come up here to flip, and flip it how you want it to be flipped, vertically or horizontally. 
So that's that. Now I want to put these graphics behind the Nana. So I'm going to select one graphic, come up to the position button and make it go backwards a little further. Okay, that is good. And we're going to do the same thing to the other. So the difference between these two here is this one is going to take it backwards one element at a time. Whereas with this one to the back, it's going to take whatever graphic you choose all the way to the back of all the graphics that are on that canvas. So I just want to take it back one graphic at a time till I like where it's placed. So I'm going to do just do one at a time. Okay. I'm going to add another flower over here. All right, and position that flower back some behind the Nana. Actually, I'm not sure if I want it right there at all. So now I'm just playing around with it until I like the way it looks right now. Um, I'm going to select the branch, bring it up. I think I will bring it up to the front. There we go. Now you see a piece of the branch is still showing. So what I'm going to do is click on this flower, bring that up and see how that does. Okay, better. Let me try to turn it a little bit to hide the branch a bit. And you can also crop the branch if you want to. So what you do is you double click the graphic of the branch. Crop not allowing me to crop this sometimes it doesn't allow you to crop graphics so we'll have to work with this and finagle it ourselves I'm gonna bring this green flower up some there we go okay you guys I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if you have any design ideas you like for me to do in future videos definitely comment below and until then I'll talk to you guys later